of JP Morgan International. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see you. There's never a good time to have an inflation crisis, but to have an inflation crisis on top of a political and a geostrategic crisis, that's pretty bad. Absolutely. We do not have an inflation crisis, but we do have an issue, a fundamental crisis that has to do with the constitutional overhaul. There is a feeling that the constitutional overhaul that has been proposed by the government, a very legitimate government, is not being introduced in the right way. It weakens the judicial. Your, your article that you wrote with your, uh, another former governor, um, your article really inf set everybody off because you basically said this is wrong, this is, this is going to harm the economy. Is Absolutely. It? There is an extraordinary range of evidence that shows that countries that weakened its judicial uh, uh, powers are performing economically much worse. The finance minister says it will strengthen the economy. The economy will grow as a result. Well, I believe the finance minister is wrong in this assessment, but the most important issue it is, is risk management. We should not take these chances. The rating agencies warn Israel. The economists warn Israel. Foreign investors warn Israel. Everyone tells you you are doing it the wrong way. We need a reform, but we do not need a reform that destroys the delicate balance among the various branches of government. We do not have a constitution in Israel, and therefore we need to make, to make sure that we have a strong judicial. And yet the party in power with its coalition says they have a mandate for this change. They have a mandate to run the economy, to run the country, they have been elected. But the fact is that the details of this, what is called reform, is, has never been spelled out. And the most important issue is not the question of mandate. The question is, is it the right thing so, to do? It's the wrong thing to do. We're going to hear from VCs and we're going to hear from a, a, a CEO of a, of a tech company. If it goes through, what will you do? Well, I believe that common sense will prevail at the end. Israel has a very strong infrastructure of human capital, of legal system. We have been for years proud to be the only democracy in the Middle East, and we will continue to be so. The very fact that there are hundreds of thousands of people in the streets demonstrating for democracies, not for wages, not for employment, for democracy, means the so, democracy will I, win the day. We're going to hear as well from a member of the Knesset who's in favor of these changes in this program, both sides of course. What I don't understand is how the two sides can be so diametrically opposed. I know that's not unique in politics, I do realize. But here there does often tend to be a consensus eventually. Well it is a puzzle. When it's A and broke, don't fix it. The fact is there was no need to make these dramatic changes. And I must tell you also, you do not do a fundamental reform as an emergency measure. And if you want to do a fundamental reform, take your time, create a consensus, look at the scope of issues, and most importantly, ask right. what are the unintended consequences. Don't take the chance. Don't gamble. That's the whole point. You need to be very careful because the future should be bright. We have the possibility. We have won the day. We have become the startup nation and the dream of countries about technology. Right. Let's not play with, in, with fire. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you here. Keep well. You, you, I, I swear you look younger every time I see you. Well, whatever. Maybe running on the beach. You need to go to the optometrist. <laughs> Thank know. you. Run on the beach.